glasses out for both days with the uh, reflection off the snow as we get into Saturday and Sunday, starting out with plenty of sunshine by the end of Sunday. We may see a few extra clouds in advance of this system, but you can see by 5 p.m. That's still going to be over Lake Michigan, and this will continue to fall apart as it moves across the state. But by the time we get into 8 a.m. on Monday for the drive back to work, there's just a slight chance that there could be enough moisture around that there could be a few snowflakes out there. I don't think it's going to be a big deal either way, and most of Monday is going to be dry. By the way, if you are heading to the big game on Saturday out at Ann Arbor, take us with you. Uh, if you haven't already put Ann Arbor in your phone, click the locations tab, type it in, and you can scroll down and you get the hourly forecast for that location. You can see exactly what we're expecting for the game. Big problem is going to be for tailgaters tomorrow. If you are headed out to Ann Arbor early tomorrow morning, these are your wind chills when you step out the door in the morning. 17 in the city, 16 out here in Romulus. If you are going down in 14 out to Ann Arbor, we'll look at that in a second. But temperatures, I should say wind chills in the south zone, anywhere between 12 and 16 is what we're expecting. But here are your west zone wind chills. Uh, you saw briefly those were in the teens, and there may be even see uh, some single digits up here in the north zone. Oxford, Ortonville, Lapeer, all with nine for that 8 a.m. wind chill, and the lake keeping things just a little bit milder out here with mid teens. That's how it's going to feel at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Now let's look at temperatures tonight for the overnight low. It'll be officially 23 as we'll continue to clear out those clouds tonight, and that sets the stage for plenty of sunshine tomorrow, just barely touching 32 for that high temperature. So if we don't see a flake on Monday, it is generally going to be dry. Once we get into Tuesday, we still not going to get to 40 degrees. Wednesday, that's when we're expecting to just barely touch that and we'll continue warming to our warmest temperature on Thursday. But Karen, as we've said, 44 is still not average for this time of year, so it is going to be chilly for the upcoming seven. Thank you.